Hello everybody, Steven here with Cardboard Coalition. And today, I figured, well, in the next two videos, I don't know if I'm putting them out back to back, but I'm gonna film them back to back right now. I figured I'd bring you some finds that I got um, for really cheap. Now, Caro is a game that, I don't remember when it first came on my radar, but I would look at it and um, wonder about picking it up, but I didn't know if I wanted to pay the price, so I kind of always passed it up. I wasn't entirely sure. The reason is because it's two players. And sorry about the camera run. We have Khatun being a little punk-ass Khatun. All right. Or as Rezvan would say, silly donkey. But um, the reason I was questioning is because it's two players, right? Um, 30 minutes actually sounds really great. Two players, it's like, oh, I don't know, two players. In the beginning, I was really into large player counts. So large as in the average player counts four, so five, six, seven, large player count games, and then seeing how serious I can get with games and still being a big player count. That has changed, um, but I also found this for $7. Uh, Miniature Market had it for $7, and also the other game, which I don't know when that video will come out, but it's the next video I'm about to film, that one was uh, $5, but this is from Hurricane, maybe Hurricane Studios, but Hurricane... So let's go ahead and jump in this and, and see what we got. Um, I looked at the ratings for it, and that was the other reason. The ratings were um, high sixes, like six, seven, six, eight, or something like that. Wasn't a seven. Um, I, you know, some of the YouTubers they talk about if it's if it's not a seven plus, I won't even mess with it. It has to be at least a seven for me to think about it. And for a bit there, I was like, oh yeah, it makes sense because. If you're spending your money, you want to make sure, sorry, I'm trying to take care of the plastic flying everywhere. Um, you want to take care that you get games, you know, that are, that are high, because there's so many games out there. The problem is sometimes there are hidden gems, and I found a couple of them. So let's go ahead and look in here. It's not going to tell us if it's a hidden gem or not, but it'll tell us kind of what we get in here. Uh, how to put in order your Kiro game. How to put an order your Kiro game. Oh, this is how to place it all in there. Oh, that's nice to have. Okay. You have the rules. And the other thing that kept circling back to it, I don't have any post-apocalyptic games. It looked kind of fun. It reminded me of Mad Max with a little truck that's running around, but it's the timer. But that's, I mean, it's come on. It's kind of cool. All right, so it looks like we're end of game. We're 11 pages in. Nice. We have a reference on the back. Those are always nice to get. Um, I usually do the box end this time. It's your standard box. All right, you can see the bend in it. Standard box. All right, we got cardboard. We got lots of cardboard, all right? Tokens. Ah, they're a little hard to pop out, but they come out. Sturdy cardboard, but thin. Gas cam popped out really easy. Let's go ahead and we'll set those over here. So I'm assuming these are areas that you would go to. You have those, all right? And then my friend and I debate this all the time. We always get worried about these. These are probably just blanks and they're supposed to be blanks, but it scares us. So I keep mine too. He keeps his. I think it's kind of funny. All right. I guess we can go like that and get everything in picture. Where do these go? We'll put these right there. We have some stickers of the dudes and the ladies, the peeps. Cool. I'm sure those probably go on something. We have the board. That you play on. Oh, and there's two trucks in here. Oh my god, I'm super excited. All right, so here's the board that you play on. A little camera's a little close to see it all, but nice. I mean, the art's really nice on this. Post-apocalypse theme sounds pretty cool. And even the back, if I can flip it over here, right? That's a cool back. I mean, it's the cover, but it's a cool back. You have that lady with their, I don't know if that's supposed to be a staff. I keep assuming it's a sniper rifle. Put that down there. We got a whole bunch of wooden tokens. I love the insert. I have to say that. Love the insert. A bunch of wooden tokens. Nice. There's some heft to them for being such small wooden tokens. That one's trying to run away. Did you guys see that? No, you can't token. You can't run away. You're going back in your prison. Get in there. All right. What else do we have? Dice. We all know that Steven likes his dice, and these are special dice. The one thing I am going to say by looking at it is they are not um, engraved. It's just uh, screen printed, 
And if you play this enough, I've noticed with friends, like I have a friend who has Hero Quest, they roll pretty well. I don't know if I'm a fan of square corner dice. If you watched my video with, um, what was it? I just went over and I was rolling the dice for. Um, but the dice rolled really well, but they were rounded corners. But so, I mean, the dice aren't bad. I'm not super impressed with the dice, but they're not bad. All right. It's going to bug me until I figure out what game that was. And this is recently, too. I did an unboxing. I was very excited about how it rolled. All right, we got cards. We got cards, cards, all types of cards. Don't know where to throw it. One place is trash, one place is other things. All right. So it looks like it's probably resources or things that you can do. Can we see if the art, it's all different art too. That's always a plus for me. As I'm looking, it looks like it's all different art. I like when it's like that. Um, I feel like I saw the factory before. Maybe not. Maybe there's a set for each color. I'm going to try to pay closer attention now. Are we looking at blue? No, I think. I think there's different. It's all different art. I mean, you guys will know. You can tell me. There's the backs of the cards. So... All right, you got some cards, the cool tray, and then you got these. I didn't know there were two. I thought there was one. I mean, that's awesome. It's a timer. I don't think it'll stand on this end, though. How do you get the time to go back? You just stand it like that? I guess one for each person. That would be a little frustrating though, because to get the time the other way, you have to set it like this. You probably set it sideways to pause time, maybe. Huh, that's interesting. Nice, all right. Let me drop those back in there so you guys can see them for the end. We gotta get the end money shot, the money in shot. All right, so that's everything you get in Caro. I'm pretty sure it'd be Caro, in Caro, right? This is, like I said, it's a two-player game, 30 minutes, um, probably 30 minutes plus for ages 9 plus, and it's from Hurricane Games or Hurricane Studios. Let's get that back into shot. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed. Help us grow the coalition by liking, commenting, and subscribing. I can say liking, liking, commenting, and subscribing. Hit the bell no notification, and I'll, uh, well, I'm Steven with Cardboard Coalition. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.